Hello everyone. These are the instructions for completing the laser cut ornaments, which is one of our projects for the 12 days of make. My name is Ken. I am the digital services specialist. In order to complete this project, you will need to download the free software Inkscape. First, let me show you how to navigate to the page with the templates and link to Inkscape. Let's go to balibrary.org in a web browser and then scroll down the page to where it says upcoming events and click on the register view all programs button and then make sure that you are on the month of November and then in the keyword search type ornaments and then right here is where the program shows up, 12 days of make, laser cut ornaments. So go ahead and click on it. And if you scroll down the page here, you'll see that the link to download Inkscape is right here. So go ahead and click this link and it will bring you to inkscape.org. And then hover over the download option and then click current version so today I'm going to be using Inkscape 1.0 so let's choose your operating system if you have Windows click on Windows and then depending on your computer you will either choose the 32-bit or 64-bit. Most newer computers have 64-bit, so go ahead and click on that. And then click on Installer in EXE Format. And then follow the prompts to install it the rest of the way. If you have a Mac computer, then go ahead and click on Mac over here. and because I'm on a Mac right now, it is installing. After the file downloads, follow the prompts to finish the installation. And next, what we want to do is to download the template, which is here at the bottom. Go ahead and click on that. Here's a preview of the template. To download it, go up to this download arrow up at the top, and then choose a location on your computer to save it to and then click Save. Once you're in Inkscape, then we will open the template that we just downloaded. Go up to File, and then click Open. Navigate to where your file is, and then click Open, and click OK. If your window shrinks like mine just did, then go ahead and click Maximize on the window so that you can see the full document again. So when you open the file, it may look like it's just a blank sheet here. Um, if you tap on the 5 key, then it will do an automatic zoom and bring the whole page into focus. And here you still might not see the outlines because they are very faint lines. What you can do is you can zoom in by hitting the plus key on your keyboard and then kind of scroll toward the top because that's where all four of these ornaments are here. And so now we can see the outline of each of these ornaments. The reason why the lines are so thin is because this is what tells the laser cutter to cut through the wood. So we need to keep the lines the same thickness. You will see all four ornaments on this single template, but please just note that we are limiting one ornament per customer for this project. So I will show you how to delete the other three ornaments before submitting your final design. The first thing we want to do is we want to ungroup all four of these ornaments. If you notice when you click on it, one box comes around all of them, so meaning they're one object right now. So go ahead and click on the ornaments so this box shows up. And then go up to the object menu here and choose ungroup. And now you'll notice 
each individual piece can be edited. So if you want to add text to this Christmas tree, we'll need to delete this inner line because as it is right now, the wood is going to cut everywhere where we're seeing this line. So meaning that in the center here, it's just going to be a big hole in the wood. And so there's not really anywhere to put text as it is. So in order to delete this line, now that we have ungrouped it, all you need to do is click on that line and then hit delete on your keyboard and then it will disappear. So now this Christmas tree will just cut out with the outline. And so we can go ahead and add some text. To add text, choose the text tool over here, the letter A, and then go ahead and click on the tree and then type a name or a message that you wanna write. And then um, to change the font, come up to this top menu here and you can just click inside the menu and then you can scroll through the, the text to um, preview all the different fonts here by um, choosing the up or down arrow on your keyboard. So once you find a font you like, then we can resize and position our text on the ornament. So depending on where you want it, you can simply click and drag and put it um, on the ornament. Just make sure that it is inside of the red outline. If you put the text up here, then it's going to cut out over here and you're going to miss out on the B and the Y. If you want to resize your text, then um, hold down the control key on your keyboard and then click and drag the arrow in the corner to resize like this. You can make it bigger or smaller depending on your placement on the ornament. If you want to align it perfectly in the center of the ornament, then make sure you click the text box here and then hold down the shift key and then also select the outline of the ornament. And then we'll go to our Align and Distribute menu. You might see it over here. If you don't, go up to the Object menu and then click Align and Distribute and this menu will pop up. So um, basically we want to align the text relative to the outline here. So we want to change where it says relative to, we wanna change it to the last thing that we selected because we selected the outline of the tree after we selected the text here. So go ahead and choose the center on vertical axis. Mine was pretty close, so you barely saw it move. Um, and then you can also center it on the horizontal axis. This just puts it in the center horizontally and vertically on the ornament, but you might want to adjust it a little bit. So for example, if I wanted to move this a little down, then just select the text and then move it down with the down arrow on the keyboard. If you choose the gift box ornament here, then just make sure that your text is in the center because all four of these boxes are going to cut out. So. If you have your text up here, then just know that you're gonna have some letters missing. So I would put it right in the center here, and then I would resize it to make it a little bit smaller. Again, by holding down the control key and then clicking and dragging that arrow. Then you can position it wherever you want. But if you do want it in the center, then just go ahead and press shift and then click the outer edge of the box. So both the text box and the outside of the ornament are selected here. And then go back to align and distribute and then center it vertically. And then that's all you really need to do um, for the ornament because you already centered it manually by um, putting it in this section where there's no holes. If you choose the bell ornament to do, this one's probably the easiest because there's a lot of space on the bottom to add text. And again, just keep in mind that everything with the line is going to cut out. So don't put the text on the bell because the bell is going to be a hole that's cut out of the wood. 
on the snowflake, there's not a lot of room to put the text, but what we can do is we can resize the snowflake. To do that, um, click on the snowflake and then resize it by holding down control and then clicking and dragging the arrow to make it a little bit smaller. And then now let's just go ahead and center that back on the ornament. So again, we'll hold down shift here and then align it in the center. And then depending on your preference, you could either move it down or up depending on where you want to put your text. And then put your text on it like so, hold down shift and then align it in the center. And you can arrange it however you want. Once you've completed your ornament design, then please go ahead and delete the other three on this template here before you save it. So to do that, zoom out a little bit. And basically, you can click and drag and draw a box around all the ones that you don't want. So you could do it individually. You know, for example, this is the bell. You'll see all of these little lines and circles highlight here, then just hit the backspace or delete key on your keyboard, and then keep doing that for all the others as well. This will just save me some time so that I don't have to delete extra files when I'm cutting your ornament. Also, you can leave the ornament where it is on this page. You don't have to reposition it. So after you delete the other three designs, then go and save it, go up to File, and then click Save As. And please save it as your first name and your last name, just so I know exactly who this is for. And also, we want to save it as a PDF file. So it should pre-populate to a PDF, but if not, then just come down here and choose PDF from this drop-down menu, and then choose where you want to save it onto your computer, and then click Save. And then click OK here. After your design is saved, then please email it to us at digitalservices at balibrary.org. Thank you for completing this tutorial. Have a great day.